Welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is an ES Wednesday, and we're also going to do Spec Check yet again with Brandon Soriano. Whoa! Hey! Hello. Hey! hey. Well, it's popping out. I yeah, know, it's he a lot does. Of fun, man. It's the best part of my day. <laughs> it's a pop out. It's a pretty sad day it's for sad. Brandon. <laughs> That's it. That was his highlight. That's the episode. <laughs> Bang it. But we do have a really cool guitar. I uh, love these in Cherry. Usually you see 335s in Cherry, which a lot of people love. But this is a close model, but a little different. Let's check yeah. it out. From 1966, it is a Gibson ES330. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay. That thing is gorgeous. No, it's not a 335. It's a 330. What's the difference? Five numbers. That's it. <laughs> Tell them what the difference is. Man, that one felt flat. That felt flat. Well, you got an audience of two. At least I used That's true. My chances weren't great. Okay, so uh, what's the deal with the ES330 as opposed to the 335? Well, the 335 is a semi-hollow guitar, meaning that there's a block of maple that runs through the center of the body of the guitar. If you were to knock on it, it would sound like it's a solid, and then the wings are all hollowed out. A 330 is hollow all the way through. So the whole thing, there's no center block. It's just entirely acoustic inside. Um, that also means that you need to have a trapeze style tailpiece usually because you can't mount into that block of wood with a stop tail because there is no block of wood. Um, so, you know, trapeze style, fully hollow. And uh, being a 1966, there are a couple of specific things about this guitar. First of all, the color is a amazing. Beautiful. I mean, this has not been refinished. This is the original finish and this thing has lasted like unbelievably well. Um, we're going to see a six digit serial number up top uh, and you know that it's pre-1970 because there's no made in USA on the back. In 1970 that's when they added that. Uh, this has the skinnier nut width. So in 1965 Gibson changed the nut width of their guitars from 1 and 11 sixteenths inches to 1 and 9 sixteenths inches. They took off an eighth of an inch. Which doesn't sound like a lot but you notice it when you're playing the guitar. Yeah. It does feel more narrow. Some people swear by these. Larry Carlton's very famous uh, 335 is a skinny nut width and some people prefer the wider nut it's just kind of a matter of preference but this one is the skinny nut being a 66 we're gonna see small block inlays on the rosewood fingerboard which is bound of course um, we're gonna see binding around the whole body which is creamed out really nicely um, and just overall a really killer guitar you're getting two p90 pickups in these guys which p90s are single coil pickups but they're really hot they have a lot of output for a single coil and so uh I think they get a great pick attack. There's a really great yeah. fullness, a great presence to them. Great Very easy uh, guitar too. Great blues pickups. You might see uh, the Epiphone Casino is like the equivalent of this guitar. Lots of great rock and blues players have used these over the years. So if you're in the market for a 60s fully hollow Gibson, this is one of the cleaner ones I've ever seen. Um, it's gorgeous. Original case here it looks like. The orange interior. And uh, overall, just a great guitar. Norm always says that the 330s are great couch guitars because you don't have to plug them in. You can just, you know, play them unplugged and they project really well. Great for uh, songwriting because they're so open. And uh, overall, just killer guitars. This is a, a very fine example that we're happy to have in the shop. And Michael's going to take it out front, yes. show us what it sounds like. Thank you, Brandon. Thanks, Let's Mike. Do it. Thanks, Thank Jen. You, Jen. <laughs> All right, we're up front with the beautiful 1966 Gibson ES330 in Cherry. I love 330s in Cherry, uh, and this is a beautiful one. Uh, we're going through a 60s Fender Super Reverb. <laughs> Starting off on the neck, let's see what we get.
really cool sound on this guitar and so clean too I love it let's go to uh, both pickups together see what we get Let's go to bridge, wide open. So we get a little tiny bit of overdrive.
the Immaculate 1966, gets an ES-330 and Cherry, a beautiful guitar, both playing and looking, it's, it's got it all, and uh, yeah, just a great guitar. Uh, you can check them all out at normansrareguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and don't forget, we're always buying guitars. Um, yeah, so see you soon. Bye.